Athlete's foot is a rash on the skin of the foot, and it's the most common fungal skin infection. Dr. Benjamin Worley of Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs explains the symptoms of foot fungus. Foot fungus is something that's, you know, obviously been around a long time, and you hear the term athlete's foot and, and whatnot, but essentially it's all the same, you know. Uh, what happens is you have normal colonization of fungus on your skin. I mean, it's around in the atmosphere, it's everywhere you go. When your feet sweat um, or are, you know, don't allow to air out, sometimes that fungus can thrive and, and grow. If you have any breaks in the skin, um, whether it's from your skin getting too wet, we call it maceration, um, or uh, any other breaks in the skin, that fungus can invade it and cause an infection. Itchy, burny feet, that's a pretty common uh, complaint. It can be flaky. Um, a lot of people will start to itch in between their toes and they just think it really itches and it doesn't go away. Those are all probably signs of fungus. Um, redness, uh, slight redness to the skin can be a sign of uh, fungus. It is contagious. You can get fungus from anybody, but if you have athlete's foot, then obviously you're going to have more fungus around uh, in the environment. Um, I tell people to wear sandals if they're showering in community showers, things like that to help prevent it. Um, obviously sharing shoes and things like that predisposes you to having uh, a higher number of fungus in, in there and, and increases your chance of, of getting it. Dr. Worley explains toe fungus. Toe fungus uh, or, or onychomycosis when it starts to invade the nail uh, we find typically comes initially from uh, a tinea pedis or an athlete's foot or a foot fungus and so what happens is it's there and it can start to colonize underneath the nail and into the nail. Um, it's can be very tough to get rid of. But what we have is different treatments um, that we use. One is a topical antifungal to help stop the athlete's foot. Um, there is uh, pills, Lamisil, Spornox, uh, multiple pills that you can take. Uh, they work pretty well. They're pretty efficient in getting rid of it. The downside is that it can raise your liver function tests, and so it's something to be a little concerned with and watch. Uh, there's topical uh, nail treatments like Pinlac or Formula 3, uh, and then there's laser treatments. What we find is that we can get rid of the fungus, and once we kill it, it takes probably about nine months for your nail to grow out and have a, a clean nail under there. The risk is that it reinfects the nail. So I think a lot of the treatment that we talk about now are more on the preventative nature. nature. So uh, I usually have somebody uh, that has had nail fungus and we've cured it do a topical antifungal to kind of decrease the number of uh, fungus that are there. And then I have them do a topical uh, once a day treatment on their nail and they just do that for life. At risk patients could have complications from toe fungus. With toe fungus or onychomycosis, one thing that we worry about is that the nail becomes very thick and it can become painful. Uh, most people that don't have normal sensation in their feet, uh, when they start to rub and cause problems, will know it and will stop wearing the shoes or will seek medical attention. Um, diabetic patients, if they get thickened nails and uh, they have neuropathy where they lose sensation in their, uh, in their feet, when they start to, to wear that in a shoe, it'll rub ulcerations underneath the nail or, or in the back of the nail and can predispose them to infections with bacteria, which are much more virulent and could be uh, limb threatening. So uh, there's certain uh, populations of people that we're much more concerned about uh, with, with causing problems and, and limb loss and, and diabetics or other neuropathic or autoimmune deficient patients are, are people that we, we are much more um, rigorous on treating the fungus.